Okay, 152 pounds. This is the weight class I think that everybody's been waiting for. You're looking at Eric Tannenbaum from Naperville North High School. 180 wins, one loss, three-time state champion from Illinois, and a national freestyle champ. He's against C.P. Schlater from Ohio, St. Paris Graham, 165 and one and a four-time state champion. This is a match, I think, for the ages. This is the one they've been writing about, the one they've been talking about, and the one that half of the, the reason half of the people in the arena are here for. A friend of mine, Paul Cotton, said, I drove all the way up here to watch this match, and he's not alone. These guys are going to entertain us. Their career records, Brian, unbelievable. And the crowd is into it. We're underway at 152. As you said, Brian, a highly anticipated matchup. It's been written about and talked about. And why not? Schlater with over 100 consecutive wins. Tannenbaum with 93 consecutive wins. They've got seven state titles between them. And it should be a great one. Power in the form of Schlater versus speed and agility as witnessed by Tannenbaum. Both of these wrestlers headed to Big Ten Powers. Schlater going to Minnesota. They had won the national title the past two years, and Okie State got it this year. And Tannenbaum headed to the University of Michigan. Boy, Minnesota has some wonderful kids, three at least in the finals here. Schlater, Coase, and Kish. Both of these wrestlers also worth noting over a 4.0 GPA. Both of them over 4.0. Undefeated on the year, Schlater 43-0, Tannenbaum 44-0. I know Russ Hellicks in Ohio State was broken hearted. He tried very hard to get Schlater. And I'm sure the same is true for Heffernan and Johnson at Illinois trying to get a homegrown Naperville North boy. Interestingly, these two wrestlers have not met before. Their paths have not crossed. And that's another reason it's so anticipated tonight. Nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. Under a minute now. So far, Tannenbaum has had his back to the line a lot. He's been near the edge, and it's been Schlater that's been kind of backing him up. No serious threat to the score, though, with 48 seconds to go back to the center. Schlater just so strong, Brian. He's just so powerful. Here he follows up on a mistake by Tannenbaum. He gets the leg, he's gonna try to score, and he gets the two right on the line. He does wrap up both ankles, a great call, and he'll take a 2-0 lead. Mentioned to our fans out there watching that Ken stepped away from us for this weight class. He's actually in the corner, as CP had asked him to coach him for this match. He's there with Pat Schlater, CP's father. And we're back underway, and I'll be real interested to see what Tannenbaum can do from the bottom position, Brian. Last night we watched as his opponent in the semis, uh, Schlater's opponent, that is, couldn't even get to a base off the, from the bottom position. Yeah, Tannenbaum has been able to get to the base, no question about that. He'd like to get that escape point, and he's got another 17 seconds to do so. Out of bounds, as you said, now down to 15 on a restart. But last night, Schlater just so overpowering that he kept his opponent flattened on the mat. And it was no ordinary opponent. It was Kuhlman, ranked number three in the nation, and he just could not get any kind of moving in the bottom at all. Not unless CP wanted to kick him out. So time ticking down in your first period. So far, Tannenbaum unable to get that point he was looking for. Does get to the tripod, tries to get the hips out, but nice follow by Schlater. And the period comes to a close at 2-0. He lets him go. Are you surprised by that? Not really. I, I think Tannenbaum figures to win with agility and technique on the, in the neutral position. It did not uh, work for him in the first period, but let's face it, Todd, these two boys are 345 wins and two losses in their high school <laughs> career. <laughs> That's a lot of winning. Absolutely amazing. And the 3-0 lead on the escape for Schlater. But once again, he's the one pressing Tannenbaum back to the edge of the mat, and there comes the stall call. Knew it was coming sooner or later. You just can't hang out by the edge of the mat. And a referee does warn Tannenbaum, who takes a shot from far away, but recovers on a reach. And look, Schlater steps right out of it. Crucial takedown here. Schlater gets it at 5-0 lead, would I think make it very, very difficult for Tannenbaum to come back. He gets a takedown, it's 3-2. He's, he's right back in the match. He has the escape coming in the third period, more than likely. 
I agree. I was impressed there, though. I thought Tannenbaum had taken a bad shot. He quickly recovered and got a reshot off and was in on the leg, but Schlater able to step out of it. And we've got no change. The 3 0 lead for the Ohio wrestler with 106 to go now in the second. Got to be hard to attack Schlater. He keeps that low base, and he's so strong and powerful when you do get in on him. If he can kick that leg, he's right back out of there. We've had really a very excellent final round up to now, and this is just maybe the keystone tight match here, but the first seven have been terrific. First eight, and now we're into the ninth. Unlike a lot of years, it's some of the heavier weights this year that we were really looking forward to. So this might actually just get us started with some terrific matches You're this You're not season. kidding. 189, 171, 215, even heavyweight. I'll tell you, they're all terrific matches. And again, Tannenbaum's been in reverse gear most of this period. He has been. He's taken the warning. And we've now got 37, 36 seconds to go and counting down. And that's not what he needs to be doing, trailing by three points. Tell you though, he's putting himself in jeopardy. He doesn't want to give up a stalling point. As you said, a five point lead would be big to overcome, but four would be tough as well. He needs to get some offense going. He has not done very much shooting, and now they're warning Schlater, which is hard to understand. Yes, the crowd doesn't like it, and neither do I. It came pretty quickly. For So Tannenbaum takes the bottom position, obviously hoping for an escape and a takedown to tie it, but Schlater's going to try and ride him tough here and take some time off the clock. Nice. Came back to that leg and sat him down. If you don't let your opponent get to his feet, he's not going to get out. And so far, Schlater's keeping him on the mat. Having seen Schlater a lot, Brian, is this the type of thing you've seen? Has he worked often in the top position or is this something new against a better opponent? He has been generally on his feet kind of wrestler. He was a critical factor in the St. Ed's, St. Paris Graham dual meet that ended up with St. Ed's upsetting Paris Graham 27-25. He needed a pin in the last match. He, they started at 160, worked their way back to him. He had a very tough opponent in Chuck Coase, but really did not do a good job on top and was una unable to pin him. In fact, got taken down twice as it turned out in that match, though he still won very handily. Well, he's riding tough here, and I'd have to agree that it's the right thing to do in a match like this. If you can eat some time off the clock, and he does. Now, he surrenders the escape, but he erased 40 seconds, and he leads 3-1 as we're neutral. Now, he has been warned again. Both have, both have been warned for stalling. So nobody's going to be able to back up or play the edge here as we approach one minute to go in this highly anticipated final at 152 pounds. Really just one move so far. The takedown by Schlater, the difference. And you know, that came very early in this match. The only other serious threat we've had was on the reshot by Tannenbaum. And second period there, early second period action. You gotta think we'll have at least one more exchange here. Under 50 seconds to go now. Tannenbaum's shooting from very far away. Each of his attacks has been from very far out. And he has not been able to penetrate, even get past the elbows of Schlater to this point. Less than 40 now as the crowd starts to get into the match. Tannenbaum's got to do something here under a half a minute now. I just don't know if he's intimidated by Schlater's strength and doesn't want to come inside and mix it up, but you cannot attack from that far away. And that's been obvious so far. He's not been able to penetrate. 20 seconds, tries a throw in desperation. It might have been a little early for that, and he surrenders the two. That's going to be the match, 5-1 now, and they're out of bounds. So they come back to center with 11 seconds to go. He tried that toss with 20 seconds to go, and I'm not sure that was the best time to try it, but he, but he did need to try to hit something, and uh, right now CP probably just going to ride it out to a victory. Tannenbaum just didn't seem to have a shot. No. I mean, he, if he, I'm sure he has him. He just didn't seem able to be... Uh, one to, to bring him up and Schlater. He kept his distance, but let's hand it to Schlater. Here he is, a four-time Ohio State champion, and now in his home state, he wins the national title. Play in the crowd, and why not? They came to watch him tonight. Great wrestler that he is. He's headed to Minnesota, and now a national title in his trophy case. Your champion at 152 from Urbana, Ohio, C.P. Schlater. Man, you can tell that's about as much emotion. As, he, he didn't show that much emotion winning his fourth state title.